Liverpool against Arsenal, 1-1. Uh, and although it was an enjoyable and entertaining game to a degree, uh, both teams uh, with the right attitude, uh, I think both teams understood uh, the importance of this game and what it would have meant uh, psychologically, not just in the table, obviously, uh, to, to uh, win this game, uh, but still disappointed. Uh, uh, I think the entertainment was there, the, the, the application of both sides and the want uh, to win the game, as I mentioned, uh, was there, but in terms of quality of chances, it really wasn't. Uh, um, uh, an opportunity lost for both because Liverpool uh, were the better team. Liverpool, in general, in the games against Manchester United, last two home games at Anfield against Manchester United and Arsenal, in 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 both games, I think they were the dominant force, more so against United, of course. But even here, uh, that's a massive opportunity lost to set themselves uh, set themselves up for the second half of the season. Uh, in terms of Arsenal, very, very disappointing because uh, it was such a great start with great attitude coming into Anfield, scoring goal like that. But even from the opening whistle, they took the ball, kind of said it. We're here, which I think we all understand because they look like the contenders this season. They're much further away uh, to what they were last year when they were leading uh, in the table this time of the year and even later on as well. But that experience uh, is paying dividends this season. Uh, and for that reason, I think uh, having a lead here, uh, Mikel Arteta is going to be very, very disappointed. The front three kept very, very quiet. Credit to Liverpool. Uh, they had to make quick chances because the injury to Simikas, Joe Gomez obviously playing out of position there. No problems with uh, with Saka, who had no shots on target. On the other side, Martinelli, zero shots on target. Gabriel Jesus, fairly quiet one that I can't even remember. Uh, but to be fair, on the flip side, uh, the front three, with the exception, of course, of Mo Salah, who scored a wonderful equalizer. It is his house. After all, he knows how to put the ball away at Anfield. In general, of course, as well, uh, you look at uh, uh, the other strikers, very much like Arsenal, they haven't done anything. Gakpo, zero shots on target. Uh, Luis Diaz, I believe he had none as well. Uh, however, Liverpool... Uh, you know, crossbar away from winning this game because, you know, five against one with Mo Salah leading the charge. Uh, uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold, of all people, has to put that away. A bit unlucky with the, the ball bouncing, but still no excuse. I almost wonder if Mo Salah just kept going himself. Uh, he surely would have finished that somehow because <laughs> that's how good he uh, he can be. And this was uh, his game, uh, I feel, in so many respects. The clear winner here on uh, Manchester City. Of course, uh, being absent and seeing a draw in this game, Newcastle losing, Aston Villa losing. Uh, they're looking at six points uh, and um, and already tasted uh, the first title of the season, which uh, very often with such talented teams like Manchester City, they can snap you into attention, uh, get you focus ready. And Pep Guardiola, I'm sure, will be speaking of that. And we'll be looking at the table, uh, seeing a six points difference and saying to his team, now is our time like uh, last season. So again, Liverpool and Arsenal, in my view, uh, at this moment are still contenders. Uh, but I think both will be disappointed with the results here, in particular Liverpool, who, in my view, ahead of this game, had to win this. Um, and as we see, couldn't find a way.